Hi, in ancient Rome, they used to think that epilepsy is caused by position by spirits, and they used to lock people with epilepsy in a room and not feed them at all so that the spirits will starve to death and leave their bodies. And some patients used to improve with that treatment. And then uh, 500 years B BC, the many Greek philosophers and physicians uh, used intermittent fasting to treat many conditions including epilepsy and was described in Hippocrates uh, book for treatment. And this treatment, the intermittent fasting, was carried on for centuries to come. In early 1900, many physicians in the United States and in Paris started to use fasting as a way to treat multiple conditions. And the breakthrough happened in 19. 21 at the Mayo Clinic when Dr. Russell Wilder discovered that fasting induces uh, chemical compounds in the body called ketones and these ketones can be uh, exactly produced by modifying the food and the diet we eat by decreasing the carbohydrate and increasing the uh, uh, fat and he called this diet the ketogenic diet, which means that the diet that produced ketones. And this was a breakthrough discovery and a big relief because fasting was a very hard to sustain and now we have a diet that we can follow to treat epilepsy. And no, ketogenic diet is not the mandatory diet for Mayo Clinic physicians because I trained there and they let me eat any food I want. And this was a great discovery and a breakthrough in treatment of epilepsy that was desperately needed for centuries. Now we have a treatment, a diet that we can can use to treat seizures and epilepsy and then this diet was spreading all over and new uh, doctors and dietitians were trained to use the diet and it was written in the books and treatment of epilepsy and things were great. We did not celebrate for too long though. In 1938, Merritt and Putnam discovered a new treatment for epilepsy, a medication called diphenyl hydantoin and this was the breakthrough for treatment of epilepsy and at that time we only had two medications, bromide which was very very bad side effects and phenobarbital. And everybody that time moved to the anti new anti-epileptic drugs and the diet was completely forgotten forever. People loved the idea of a new medication, a pill they can take to treat epilepsy and seizures rather than sticking to this rigid and difficult to follow diet. A year after the year, doctors and dietitians have lost interest in the ketogenic diet and moved on to all those new anti-epileptic drugs and medications so the diet was a story from the past. It was sitting on the shelf like an orphan who was seeing all the people moving down the street and celebrating all those successes and wins and the new shiny anti-epileptic drugs and the diet was quietly observing. And the last try by Dr. Peter Huttenlocker in 1971 at the University of Chicago, he discovered the median chain triglyceride oil uh, diet as a replacement of the ketogenic diet, but the world was like, huh? and they just moved on to the new shiny anti-epileptic drugs again. 73 years later, in 1994, a two-year-old boy, Charlie, had epilepsy that was severe and he failed all medications, even an epilepsy surgery, and he was having daily seizures. Out of desperation, his parents were looking for anything to help little Charlie. So his dad went to the library that day and he was looking for any book that can help him. And he found a book, a guide for epilepsy treatment for parents. And he started reading the book and there was a mention of that diet that children use and their epilepsy vanished overnight or their epilepsy significantly improved. And he brought this out of excitement to their doctors and in California and he asked them like can we use this diet and the doctor's like yeah we should we don't know a lot about this diet there is a new medication that we can use and he had only one option he has to go to the Johns Hopkins University Hospital in, in Baltimore, uh, Maryland. And in Johns Hopkins, they were using ketogenic diet to treatment of epilepsy and other conditions, and they were publishing some of those studies. And then little boy Charlie went to the Johns Hopkins, and one of the experienced dietitian for 70 years, she had used this ketogenic for many, many years, and she knows the ways of the past, and she started giving the little boy Charlie the ketogenic diet. And the miracle happens overnight. Charlie stopped having seizures instantly after uh, starting the diet, and it was a miracle. And then his dad was connected in the media industry, and he uh, had his story told on national TV in the uh, documentary and the TV show, The Dateline, and since then, there was an explosion of the ketogenic diet treatment. 
people started to be interested again in ketogenic diets and the Charlie's family made Charlie Foundation, which is a foundation for ketogenic diet, started to spread awareness and funding for research on ketogenic diet, which exploded over the years. And now we have th more than a thousand times increase in the research and understanding of ketogenic diet. And now the ketogenic diet is used worldwide for treatment of so many conditions and for epilepsy. People discovered so many benefits. It can decrease inflammation, it can cause weight loss, and can improve the cognitive function, even it can help with cancer. So this diet was like one fix for all. No doubt that the ketogenic diet is an excellent diet that helps a lot of patients. However, it is very difficult to follow and very difficult to maintain. Ketogenic diet, you have to weigh every single bite you eat with strict ratios between carbohydrates and protein and fat. We increase the fat and decrease the carbohydrates and uh, there is no cheating days in epilepsy. It can only take one bite of sugar to get the child out of ketosis, then seizures will start come all the way back. You can have cheating days for uh, weight loss and for uh, other things, but not for epilepsy. And the diet also has lots of side effects. So some side effects, including like this stomach upset, constipation, like, you know, like the, this is very high fat diet. It's very hard in the stomach and the body. Nausea, dizziness, decrease in the, in the growth. It can cause kidney stones. It can cause uh, disturbance in the calcium. Like, you know, like there are lots of other things, let alone the bad smell and the bad breath and, and all the other side effects that comes with the diet. So if you want to take ketogenic diet, you should be under medical supervision with an experienced doctor and an experienced dietitian that can calculate every single bite for you. One of the most fascinating conditions that is treated by ketogenic diet, this type of epilepsy called glute deficiency epilepsy. So the brain will eat only glucose or if, if really a starvation, it can eat ketones. So there is a channel that takes glucose from the blood all the way to the brain. And this channel can get mutated and does not work. And this is called gluc glucose transport deficiency. And then the brain literally starts to death and the child will have uh, developed developmental delay, will have very severe epilepsy and difficult to control and, and everything will be delayed and, and, and difficult in the child. And then if it was discovered uh, correctly and do a genetic mutations and we discover this condition, we can uh, give the child ketogenic diet and this will be a miracle. The, the body start to have ketones, they will go to the brain, the brain start to eating ketones and the child will pick up in development and, and, and live their life normally or developmentally will be okay. And due to the strict nature and the difficulty to follow the ketogenic diet, now we have multiple alternatives that are uh, very helpful, especially in adults, like the modified Atkins diet and the low glycemic index diet. All of those are alternative to the diet that gives you the benefit and they're not as strict, especially for adults. Children, we feed them, but for adults, you eat and it's very difficult to follow. And luckily, the Charlie Foundation have all the information on how the diets and recipes and everything you can get to know the diet very well. The story of medications or treatments being buried for years and years is not unique to ketogenic diet. It happened in many other medications, even for epilepsy. One of them is the story of valproic acid or Depakote. Depakote is an organic solvent that was used to solve all the organic um, materials used in the lab and was used for 40 years and no one even paid attention to it until somebody discovered, wait, all those compounds they are effective now for seizure treatment, even though the compounds are different. And they looked into that, they found the solvent, which is valproic acid, is the one that is causing all the treatment to happen. And they discovered valproic acid, one of the great medications for epilepsy. And then also happened again for levetiracetam or Kipra. Kipra were used in, in the 70s and 80s, and then they tried it on the uh, traditional epilepsy uh, models, and they used it and it failed the model. And then they put it on the shelf for 30 years until new models came and they tested the compound again and was, whoa, was great for epilepsy and they discovered uh, levetiracetam or Kipra and this is one of the highest uh, used uh, anti-epilepsy medication worldwide. If your child or yourself need ketogenic diet to treat your seizures, you might be having what we call drug-resistant epilepsy. This is a stubborn type of epilepsy that does not respond to treatment and this type we need to do some surgical treatments such as resection surgery or devices and I explain all of these uh, surgical techniques and treatments in this video that you can review in full and stay healthy and see you in the next one. Salam.